Hi, Cosette here, independent consultant with Pink Zebra, currently senior manager. Yay. Um, today I was inspired to tell my story, so I thought I would do a little video on it instead of writing in text so you can actually see me. So here I am. <laughs> um, let's start from the beginning, okay? Were you ever a kid? When I was a kid, I always wanted to offer my children more than I ever had. So, you know, you would say, you know, well, when I grow up, my kids are going to do this. Or that wish list of things that you always wanted to do that you couldn't because either your parents said no or... Um, it just wasn't in the cards for your childhood, right? I mean, we all have those wish lists, those things that we wanted to do so badly, but we couldn't for whatever reason life threw at you. In my case, I was poor. I was so poor. Um, sorry. <laughs> We lived without electricity. We lived in a car. Sometimes I didn't even know where I was gonna live. <laughs> so I was that child growing up. Sorry, I didn't think I was gonna cry. But I wanted to do so much with my life as a child. I wanted to dance, I wanted to play sports, I wanted to be a part of the team. And it just wasn't something that we could do. And I accepted it, I knew it, and I grew up just fine. Um, I probably grew up a better person than most, I would say, because I have an understanding of where I came from to where I am now, so I don't take anything for granted. Nothing. So, I've always had that ambition. I always wanted to be a mom. I always wanted to give my children more. And um, I got that wish. I got, I got my children. I have four beautiful babies. Um, and they are just amazing in their own aspect. All four of them, are, they bring something to this world. And that makes me so happy and so proud. Um, when I ran into Pink Zebra, I was um, in a spot in my life. I, I mean, I had a really good job. I still have a really good job. I still have the same job I did. Um, my youngest was just my daughter at that time. She had recently had grandma seizures. And in that point in my life, I realized that we were going to be financially responsible for her medical situation because I did have a good job and I was making my life something, you know. And I ran into Pink Zebra, I got a little sprinkle sample, you know, just the little samples that you get, you know, just about maybe less than this actually. And um, I was already addicted to smelly stuff. I mean, who isn't addicted to smelly stuff? <laughs> um, and so I put it in my warmer and I'm like, my God, this stuff is great. And I'm like, nobody around here sells it. And I know a lot of people who like the other product, leading brand product. And I was like, I could totally do this. If not for just the discount, what's the worst that can happen? I buy my own product. I know I'm gonna use it. And so I started selling Pink Zebra and it quickly grew from there. It was an opportunity for me to share. Um, I am not originally from Iowa. I grew up in California most of, the, most of the time. And I had a couple of friends from like my boys' sports stuff or whatever. And I, um, found it as an opportunity to grow and make friendships. I have some of the best relationships, the best friendships, people that I talk to every day 
because of pink zebra. I think about it all the time. I think about how if I hadn't started pink zebra, I wouldn't know these people. I wouldn't know these amazing people that are in my lives and that are there to support me and grow with me. Uh, we, we talk more about just sprinkles. I mean, we talk every day. And then I think about how financially we're fine. We, we are doing great. And we're doing great because I have this extra income. Pink Zebra is not paying all my bills. It's not. It will maybe one day. But right now what it's doing is it allows me to be able to do things for my children. Give them the things that I did not have as a child. Um, I can say yes to playing three different baseball teams. I can say yes to having all four of them in something at the same time. I can buy them the clothes that they want. I can make sure that they are nicely clothed and not have to worry about wearing the holy shirts to school or trying to figure out where their next pair of panties are, if they're not dirty or not. <laughs> Pink Zebra allows me those things. It allows me the extra things. And that's why I continue to do it. Just last night, I had a conversation with my oldest, and we talked about a lot of things. Um, he's very aware of the world, and he said something to me that just really struck my heart. He says, Mom, you could probably be president. <laughs> I don't think so, but <laughs> he sure did. <laughs> and I was like, why do you think that I could be president, honey? And he goes, because you're a leader, Mom. And I was like, what's your definition of a leader? Because, you know, there's always different definitions of leader. He says, somebody who is compassionate, who shares their love with everybody, who listens to their story and takes their story into consideration, who fights for the little people, and who loves everybody. And that kid, he may be only be 13 years old, but he's pretty smart. <laughs> um... I'm not sure if I am all those things or if he just sees those things sometimes, but Pink Zebra has allowed me to show him those things. If it weren't for Pink Zebra, I wouldn't get up in front of people and do workshops. I wouldn't get up in front of people and share my story. Um, I'd probably be hiding in a room somewhere because I am actually not quite an optimistic extrovert. I am very much an introvert who would rather just not talk to anybody and be a wallflower because that kind of situation just gives me high anxiety, like <laughs> super high anxiety. But I like sharing this stuff and I like making friends and sometimes I never know if I walk into a door if I'm going to meet my next best friend. So that is why I do Pink Zebra. That is why I'm here and that is my Pink Zebra story because I am Pink Zebra. <laughs> Sorry for crying, guys. <laughs> Thank you for listening. Y'all have a zebra-tastic day.